Well, we normally don't like to just sit and talk, but we're tired. We are very tired. It is day eight <laughs> of RV Unplugged season two. Feels like day 28. <laughs> All right, so how long ago does it feel like we were searching for keys to find our team? Feels like an eternity. It feels like it was about a month ago. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> feels just yeah, like an eternity. It was one week ago. Yeah. <laughs> a little over a week ago. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we could go today. Every day feels like a week. Yeah. Well, it will actually feel like a week for you watching because every day is a week. Yeah. When it's shown. But for us, it really feels like that too. Yeah. And you have a boo boo toe. I do. So have... it's good that we have downtime this morning for yeah, you to rest. Yeah, I to ice my foot. Ice your toe. I strained my toe somehow, maybe uh, I don't know when how I was you do that. like pushing off on a run or something. Yeah. I don't know, but it's definitely sore. I've been icing it for the last couple of days yeah. when I can, and I'm doing my best to not do any limping in front of anyone. Which toe is it? It's my third toe on my left foot. It's not actually the toe. It's the it's the uh, metacarpal. Oh, on top. It's yeah, the on top, and so yeah, it's pretty sore. Okay. I'm doing my best not to limp because I don't want anybody to think I'm a wounded, wounded animal or <laughs> yeah so they'll be like oh, oh you know a wounded animal they just take you out <laughs> put you down like, oh he's hurt <laughs> now it's time to pounce <laughs> yeah because we do we think that yeah. we're like oh, oh so-and-so's got a little limp and I wonder if they're having knee problems and a little hitch in his giddy up yeah maybe we'll just take them out they're looking a little weak today yeah. this could help us but Today, the start of today, we're basically about where we were at the start of yesterday, because mm -hmm. no one got eliminated. Nope. But I'm doing the math on production days, and if you carry the one, uh -huh. it's got to be a double elimination today. This is very true. Each team must eliminate today. Yeah, they got to get down to the final four today. Yeah. And uh, crazy. Thank God we got the park pass, baby. Yeah. Thank God. So our plan today is, we think, we believe that. What's going to happen is in the double elimination today, we mm -hmm. believe whoever wins on each team is going to have immunity and essentially would be the deciding vote because the other two would just cancel each other out. They would yeah. be the decider of who they take into the final four with them. Yeah. Um, we already have our park pass. So we know we're going to the final four. So for us, our motivation to win is to still control our own fate. Yes. And decide who we're who taking goes with us. To the final four with us. Because if someone else wins, then we can't eliminate them and we're forced to eliminate the one who just didn't win. Yeah. So we want to keep our destiny in our own hands. So that's our motivation to win. Plus, yeah. we don't want to look like we're throwing it because then they'll know we have the park pass. Exactly. So that's strategy well, for Well, you day. can't throw it anyway. You're going to be can't. like, I got to win. Regardless. I physically, mentally, emotionally cannot force myself to not try. Try. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going that. to. I'm, I'm not going that. to. But if I really wanted to, I'd be like, no, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what a day it's already been. Yes. It's been a long day. It's cold out today. It's almost 9.30, and we are not done we yet. We are not done yet, but let's talk about We had, you know, first part of the day off. There was yeah. rain in the forecast. They were kind of avoiding that. And yes. then, so they did some cast interviews while that was going on, and then... This afternoon, we headed over to Camp Margaritaville to the pavilion over there and uh, met with a couple of great cooks, grillers. Yeah, yeah got some uh, some good experience um, with with cooking. We're going to yes. talk about that in a second, but let's go back to the challenges that led up to it. Well, the first challenge was putting the grill together. Yes. Put the grill together, and they said, you don't want to be last. If yes. you get first overall out of everybody, you get yeah. advantage, you get to go into the Alliance key room for a chance to add a park pass. Yeah. But if you are last on your teams, it, it's not it's, good. It's not good. They didn't tell us. But I was thinking yeah. people were going to get eliminated. That's what I thought too. And I was like, oh man, we got to get this grill together. We got to get this grill together. And we were the first ones done, but not done. Because yeah. we missed a part. Yeah, I feel solely responsible for that too. No, because it was sitting over to the side. I didn't see it either. And it was just, a, just one of the handle. Uh, Reinforcement for the back bars. of the handle. Yeah. So we had to take the handle back off, and then we had to put that piece on, and then the handle back on. And by that time, two other teams had finished. Yes. So we didn't get to go, but at least the blue team was the very first. Yeah. So it wasn't anybody on our team that that get to go. That over gets there. to go in the so key room. Our 
park pass is still in in, in play in play for us and no one else on our team has one yeah we know for sure that no one else on our team has one and then I think, unless they're really sneaky i don't think they do well no i don't joe and rachel would have to have one from the way time with it they went before and yeah and i just don't think they have one and uh so then we were not the last on our team no. in the grill together which was good yes so we got to choose from one of two challenges you had the uh the uh sauce toss with the yeah. frisbee trying to knock them off the stick or you had the bread toss in your mouth and yeah. you know at that point it was a team event yeah and matt and, and mandy said they had some experience they played they play disc a golf lot of disc on golf. their property yeah so we play disc golf too but not nearly as much as they do so no. they had a lot more experience so we let them go do that and then we'll do the bre bread toss so we were up first we did the bread toss did not do well no that stuff's hard it was difficult we were hitting each other in the face well and because one of the contestants is allergic to gluten so yeah. they had to bring in gluten-free buns which are heavier denser they're like bricks buns. Yeah, so it's like, and you're throwing them at each other's face. I got chafed. Yes, when bread skims your face, when it's been, yeah. you know, buns have been, oh, that hurts. Our aim was good. We were hitting each other in the face, just couldn't get a couldn't hold get of it. it. And yeah. So Blue took an early lead, one to nothing. Yeah. And then we went over to do the frisbee duck toss, and Matt and Mandy crushed it. Nailed it. And so we God, got a good. way big advantage. So then, then you got to find out what the people who come in last had, had to, to do. do. So we go over there. And they had sauce, barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. And so all the stuff that we did for the first two challenges translated into how much sauce, sauce. was going into their buckets. Yes. And so they, Blue Team had a shit ton of <laughs> barbecue sauce in there because we sauce. got way more sauce than yeah. they did. And they put these little cuties, the little baby Clementines. Clementines yeah. in the sauce and then they had to bob for them. Yeah. And our team, we started behind. We did because Ashanti, Ashanti got them. <laughs> Fast, Boom. like she bam got that one right off the and top. Talmadge goes dropped in, and I was like, off. "Oh shit, we were behind." But Joe and Rachel picked it back up. Yeah, perfect. As soon execution. as Joe took off, freaking Rachel already had, she had one another in her one mouth. Man, for her, she so was. We were really fast, and we won that. So we got a 15 minute advantage in the cooking competition, which was huge, huge because they had to go up in temperature on cooking theirs. So they didn't get to low and slow. Because everybody had a time frame of when they could get their food to the judge. Yeah. So with the 15 minute disadvantage, yeah. they had to crank up their heat yeah. to get it edible, cooked yeah. to the right temp. But that also throws off presentation. Exactly. So um, that goes over to the judges. We had no idea what's going on with that. Yeah. And then they fed us. Yeah. Which was really great. Yeah. Um, we, the Macklemore boys did all the cooking yeah. for our dinner during the competition there was beef pork and chicken. and chicken i felt like chicken was the easiest so we took that because we don't cook yes mad man do a lot of cooking they do a lot of pork so Same they were pork. confident and that's the, the most pork. finicky that's it can turn real it's not quickly. forgiving yes. yes you have to be spot on and then uh joe and rachel took the beef yes because they're, they're more comfortable with beef and they're like beef so yeah. it all worked out really well yeah and i think we, i tasted everybody's food and it was amazing we had great food great food we tasted some of the blue teams <clears throat> and we weren't being prejudiced to our own no it literally you could tell the, the difference from yeah. the time that they just didn't get the coloring and flavor so it goes to the judges well that next thing is we get to keep the grills that we cooked on yeah, we get a bunch really of cool. spices and rubs and sauces yeah. and all the cookbooks and yeah. amazing they're gonna teach me to cook it's great and those <laughs> grills are really cool grills. yes very we'll show it to you sometime yeah on the it's really cool um so then after we eat they feed us todd announces it's it's too close to call yeah it was basically a tie yeah they said the they don't the judging came so freaking close that there was yeah. no way to... I believe if it had been like professional, like chef judges, we would have won. Yeah, people who are know exactly what they're supposed to be looking for yeah. when they taste your food. But to, you know, the lay person, all of it tasted really, really good, good and they just like can't make the decision. Pretty so. sure ours was juicier though. So we're going uh, back to... A ceremony. The chopping block. We haven't gone yet. That's We're recording this. We had a little bit of time. They're moving some of the set back over here. They had to yeah. move some of it over there. And some backgrounds and stuff. They're moving it back over here. So we're trying to hurry up to get through this. Yes. And I think what we're leading to is a double elimination. I in, think so In a too. few minutes here. I so think we one have from each team is going to have to leave. Layer it up. Yeah. Get to warm because it's cold and the wind's blowing out there. It's 57 and windy as yeah. heck. It's 
So not good. We know that no one else on our team has an advantage. As far as we know. We have the park pass. Oh, and we did a little trickery today. A little foolery. We did. We can so, talk about that later, though. Yeah, we'll talk about that after we come back from the elimination. Uh, and we'll let you know. Uh, we'll let you know who's gone. Yeah. Holy crap. That was intense. It's only been a couple seconds for you. But it's been about an hour and a half for us. Yeah. And I did not see that coming. No. I, I saw the double elimination coming. Yes, I totally knew we but were. But I did not see the twist. No. When so. it got to Blue's voting for Red and Red's voting for Blue, I was like, oh, they are so going to come after us. us. I thought 100% that they were coming after us and we were going to have to use our park pass and pick someone on our team yeah. to take out. Which we still hadn't fully decided who that was going to be yet. Yeah, I mean, we, we had a good idea what we, th we were strategically our... Which we would have conferred a final, you know, conversation in our one minute in the Airstream. Actually. We probably would have and, and, it, and we may have changed our mind. But, yeah. Um, but we had to vote for Blue. I Yeah, as much as I was floored that we had to do that, Yeah. the other teams vote up, I was floored that... Our vote for their team was unanimous, yep. and their vote for our team was unanimous. And it wasn't against us. Yeah. <laughs> that blew me away. <laughs> yeah. I was fully thinking, thank so, God. As soon as they, they said that, we're voting for each other's team, I was like, thank God we have that park pass, because they are taking us out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to stun them when we stand up with that park pass. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, man. I mean... I'm glad we didn't have to do the vote off Me ourselves. Too. That Me was too. a huge stressor to take one of those two down because they both deserve to be here. They do. Still. They've both done a really great job. Yeah, so that was going to be gut wrenching to have to tell one of them yeah. to go. So I'm glad, I'm glad it wasn't in our hands. Yeah. And so we obviously voted for Kevin and Tabitha, who, yeah. a fellow veteran, retiree from the Navy, fellow Alliance owner. Yeah. Um, we're Alliance Ambassadors. We've taken out both the other Alliance, Alliance owners. No. One accidentally, though. One accidentally. <laughs> but, but Kevin and Tabitha were way too strong. Yeah, they were too big of a threat. And there was no way if we came to the finals with them, I really, there's no way we would have beat them. Same for Jack and Shelby, though, but we couldn't vote for both of them. No, and we thought Jack and Shelby might have something. Yeah, which didn't mean anything to us, but they would have probably taken out Talmadge and Ashanti, which we didn't want to do because... We think we got a shot against them. Our best shot, I think, is is going head to head with them. If no offense, guys, if you're watching no. this, but we feel like in our defense because we're we're not that strong. Yeah, we need somebody on more our playing. So field. it really it really played out best case scenario for us tonight. It did. It really did. It was crazy. And so now we have to. Unfortunately, we have to go beat Matt and Mandy. Yeah. And um, hopefully we and see how it shakes out on the blue side. I'm, yeah. I, you know, I love Jack and Shelby, but I'm rooting yes. for uh, Talmadge and Ashanti to beat them tomorrow so that we will go up against them in the finale and have a shot at this thing. Yeah. But I will tell you this. Um, there will be no shame if we lose to any of these people. No. All deserving. If we lose to any of these people. Totally okay. Totally cool with it. I will hang I will my head high. I will cheer for them. I will hug them and yeah. cheer them on. Yeah. Because, I mean, for us, it, yeah, the money would be nice, but ultimately it's just been a fun, great game to it be has. a part of. Yeah. The money's just icing on the cake, yeah. but, you know, with, take the money away. Yeah. It's still a great game. Everyone's playing it well. So this won't be our last after the RV Unplugged with uh -huh. the Wags. We got at least one more. We got more. at least one more. It might be sitting here talking about how we uh, <laughs> didn't make it to the finale. Yeah. Or we could be talking about how we did make it to the finale and then do another one after that. But yeah. um, I, it, we've made it past the majority of the people who started are gone. We totally surpassed our benchmark oh, for success. By so, a lot. Because we just didn't want to be first. So I mean, we yeah. I am over the moon. To be in the final four? Yeah. If you'd have told me, I'd have been like, shut <laughs> like, up. No, especially when teams were formed on day one. I was like, that team is stacked, stacked. with strength. We are so not going to last very we're long. We're screwed. Yeah. I was like, yeah. But hey, the red team, man, resilient, hung in there. We're hardy. And fought <laughs> it out. 
I, I fully, you know, I fully believed that we needed that park pass to get as far as we did, but we yes. really didn't. I mean, I want to toot my own horn for finding it. Yeah. But literally, we had to find it that day. Yeah. And so let me talk about the tactic that we had today. Because okay. Ashanti, she uh, was wearing tights today. At yeah, the, she had the leggings she had the on. the leggings on. And in her front pocket, she had what looked like a disc. And it was just the same exact size, size as a park oh pass. God. And so when we saw that, we were like, this is our opportunity to take some of the focus off people who think we might have it. Yeah. So we planted the seed on both teams. Because yeah. we didn't think we didn't think that this boat was going to go against the other teams. Mm -hmm. So I went over and planted the seed with Kevin to say, hey man, look in Ashanti's pocket. It looks like she has nice. a park pass. Nice. The tactic behind that was to get them to not, not vote, vote for, for them, them, thinking they would have it and take somebody out. Yeah. So that either Jack or or Jack and Shelby or Kevin and Tabitha would take each other, each other out. out, and to keep Talmadge and Ashanti in the game in case we had to go against them in the finale. Yeah. And then of course we planted the same seed on our team. Yeah. Go, back. To go throw, look at her leg. Go look at her leg. To throw the focus off of us to make them yeah. think that we did so not. So it have. would at least solidify in our team's mind that. It wasn't in our hands. Yeah. We did not have the coin because we we're like, look, look, yeah. and look, and it looked just like it. It did. I even when I saw it, I was like, oh my god. But she we knew has a park they pass. couldn't have it because they haven't been in that room, and we knew we found the park pass. I'm like, yeah. it's not it. But I literally said, oh my god, they have one. But I was like, this is our opportunity to use that. Yeah. But hey, that's it for this time. Yeah. You want to keep watching the after the RV unplugged with the wag? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. There's only going to be a couple more no matter what. That's right. Win, lose, or draw. There's yeah. going to be no draw. It's going to be there's, win or lose. There's at least one more. <laughs> but hey, stick <laughs> around for a few more seconds. We're going to honor Fallen Hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description yeah. of the video. Appreciate you watching. <laughs> we live to fight another day. Yay! We'll see you next time. Good night. Bye.